head high. Worship him this morning. Wave your hands unto him. He has given us grace to see another month. Oh Lord, be lifted high. Be lifted high for you are home. Oh, holy, righteous, and war. Oh, Lord, be lifted. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Just begin to adore him. Begin to restore him. Begin to reference him. He is worthy to be praised. He is the I am that I am. The lion of the tribe of Judah is the God who was, who is, and who is to come. Begin to adore him. Begin to celebrate him. If we are to buy this month, I am telling you, you cannot pay for it. Oh, before it reaches your turn, the powerful men and women will have bought and bought for their generations. Oh, worship him. It is freely given. Oh, freely given. Adore him. Adore him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Ancient of days, we thank you. The glorious I am that I am, we bow before you. Lord, we thank you for the advent of another month. We thank you, Father, for this grace to behold the fifth month of the year. We celebrate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, because you have great plans. You, great, you have great programs for us. And the plan, your purpose and program for us this month shall never be aborted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have risen this morning like the psalmist that early will I seek you. We have come this morning to command the morning and to take possession. We ask you to have your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are unstoppable this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we pray prayers, let the heavens be opened unto us. Let the heavens be opened unto us. Let our prayers be answered. Let our prayers be answered. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can you shake five people and tell them, Welcome to the month of May. 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 Please be seated on behalf of our Father in the Lord, the vicar of this parish. We welcome us to the fifth month of the year, the month of May. And we prophesy it shall be the best month for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said it shall be the best month for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, this month of May is going to be wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. Do you know the reason? Because the man that got the five talents, the man that got the five talents, used it wisely. Hallelujah. This month is going to be beautiful for you. It's the fifth month. I say you are going to use your talent wisely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, this month of May, heaven shall multiply your seed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, you didn't hear me. I said, this month of May, heaven will fertilize your seed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, this month of May, you will not fail God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I said, this month of May, you will not disappoint heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, the month of May is a month that I like to change very quickly. The first day of the month, I like to change it from the month of May to the month of must. Hallelujah. Because the word May 
is not in the affirmative. For example, if you want to travel and you phone somebody and you say, I may travel. I may travel. It, it means that you are not sure of traveling. You may travel or you may not travel. Hallelujah. If you say, I may come. I may attend. It means you are not sure. You may attend and you may not attend. Uh, the word may connotes uncertainties and probabilities. It connotes uncertainties and probabilities. But prophetically, I like to change the month of May to the month of Moss. Why? Because this month, your testimony must manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because your miracles must manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whether that door likes it or not, this month of May, it must open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That promotion must come. I said that promotion must manifest. And so every uncertainties in this month, we change them to certainties for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every probabilities that is embedded in this month, every probabilities that is programmed into this month, we change them to possibilities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so this month has been prophetically so named. It has been prophetically baptized and given a name. May my month of unequal grace. Somebody say unequal grace. I didn't hear the voice of soldiers. Say my month of unequal grace. Hallelujah. I want you to follow me to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. I'll quickly read verse 33 and 34. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4, verse 33 and 34. And with great power get, gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Verse 34 Neither was there any among them that lacked for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the price of the things that were sold. Let me read it one more time for the purpose of clarity. At chapter 4, verse 33 and 34, and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of Jesus and great grace. Somebody say great grace. Somebody say great grace. And great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prizes of the things that were sold. Hallelujah. The Bible said that great grace was upon the apostles. Great grace was upon the apostles. And because of that, Neither of them lacked. They never lacked. Because grace, not just ordinary grace, it was a great one. I prophesy to somebody here, in this month of May, great grace will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say great grace will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever you lay your hands upon this month, great grace shall rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When grace comes, disgrace disappears. Hallelujah. 
Bible said that great grace was upon them. Unequal grace was upon them. And because of that, lack vanished. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody jump up this morning. Somebody jump up and say, I command lack to disappear from my life. Oh, can you say, say I command lack to disappear from my life. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Unequal means unrivaled. No rivalry. Unequal means unmatched. What you cannot match, you cannot fight with. Unequal means unchallenged. You cannot challenge disgrace. Unequal means superior. When something superior rests upon you, hallelujah. You know, when, when a superior anointing comes upon you, your inferiority complex disappears. I pray that this month of grace, oh, a superior anointing will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word unequal means incomparable. Incomparable. Hallelujah. Amen. And so this month of unequal grace, I pray that an incomparable anointing will rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, what is the meaning of the word grace? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. We are not closing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, we are used to that word. Grace. But many of us don't understand the meaning. What is the meaning of the word grace? Number one, grace means undeserved favor of God. Unmerited favor of God, rather. Unmerited favor of God. And what is the meaning of favor? Favor is what you don't qualify for, but heaven gives it unto you. What you don't qualify for, heaven gives it to you. The position you don't work for, eh? God gives it to you. The employment you don't qualify for, eh? The position you don't qualify for, the marriage you don't qualify for, God gives it to you. This month, you are going to enjoy favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, favor is just one aspect of grace. Hallelujah. When grace comes upon you, it comes with favor. It comes with favor. I prophesy to somebody here, this month, you shall be favored. I said you shall be favored. What is the meaning of the word grace? Grace is undeserved love of God. The love you don't deserve. God bestows it on you. That is the reason why we are saved. That is the reason why we are Christians. What about those that were born in Muslim family? Ah, grace found you. And that's the reason why you are saved. Even this morning, it is grace that brought you. Many members of the church are still struggling on the bed. Should I go? Should I not go? The body is so weak. You see, the spirit is willing, but the body is weak. But grace brought you. I pray that grace will keep you this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is grace? What is the meaning of grace? Grace is God's enabling power to fulfill a divine assignment. Power to fulfill an assignment. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Grace gives you power to do what you cannot do ordinarily. Amen. Amen. Oh. I said, Amen. Oh, it is grace that made David Yonggi Cho to be able to pastor a church of thousands of people. He conducts seven services every Sunday. Seven services. How many do we have here? We have two services. And then all of us are very, <laughs> we are looking for our bed after the service. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
But this man conducts seven services every Sunday. And one service is over 300,000 members. And then he begs the congregation, please don't come next week. Allow some other people to come next week. You can come in two weeks' time because some people could not enter the church this Sunday. That is grace. Not everybody can pastor such a crowd. That is grace. I know a man called Pastor George Adeboe. When Pastor George Adeboe preaches, he doesn't open the Bible. He quotes and his mouth is faster than your hand. As he's quoting the Bible, you cannot get it. He can quote over 1,000 scriptures in a service. That is grace. Grace is divine enabling power of God for you to do, fulfill a divine assignment. The power of God for you to fulfill an assignment. What about Bishop Samuel Ajayi Crowder? It was grace that made that man a Yoruba man. But he interpreted the whole Bible into Igbo language. A Yoruba man interpreted Bible into Igbo language. Into many other languages. It is grace. Many of us have not been able to read our Igbo Bibles very, very well. They can do Igbo. But only Yoruba, they read Igbo English Bible into an Igbo Bible. It is grace. What about Handel Messiah? Handel Messiah, the best composer oh, of his time, even in our time. Handel Messiah, a man that composed songs centuries ago, but we still stand to sing the Hallelujah Chorus. What about John Wesley? It is grace that made him. This man can preach to over 2,000 congregations without microphone. His voice will never grow out. It will never crack. He can preach to 2,000 congregations oh, without getting tired, without a microphone. What about Bishop Oedeko? He's the man that built a 50,000 capacity church in nine months. 50,000 capacity church in nine months. That is what I call grace. Grace is divine power for you to fulfill a divine assignment. May that grace rest upon us this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is grace? Very quickly. Grace is the decoration that makes a place more appealing. More appealing. Before now, people don't like you. But this month of May, you will begin to receive favors. I say you begin to receive likeness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It was grace that made Esther became chosen by the king. Remember, Esther was a house help. Esther was a maid. Eh? But she stood in competition with daughters of the land. You know house helps? You know house helps? They don't have good creams. Amen? They don't even have perfume that will make them smell nice. Hallelujah. Their skin is full of rashes and pimples. A Amen. So ordinarily, Esther could not have won that competition. Uh, when it was a turn of Esther, the Bible said, and Esther found grace in the sight of the king. I prophesy to somebody here, this month of May, heaven shall decorate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say heaven shall decorate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will stand in competition with others and you shall be preferred. I say you shall be preferred. I say you shall be taken. You shall supersede them. You shall supersede them. You will outshine them. You will outshine them. You will outshine them. Because Christ shall be upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When your product enters market this month, I say when your products, when your goods enters market this month, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall receive a divine decoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, because of time, grace is like the law of aerodynamics. Grace is like the law of aerodynamics. You know, we have the law of gravity. The law of gravity says anything that goes up must surely come down. And that is the law that is pulling down so many great men. They will go up financially 
after raining for two years, five years, they are raining. The law of gravity will suddenly hit them, hit their business, and they begin to come down. But the law of aerodynamics says anything that go up will continue to go up and will remain up. That is the law of grace. I prophesy to somebody here, every one of us, May the law of aerodynamics of God's grace rest upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, it is possible for you to remain on top. Five years, you are still raining. Ten years, you are still raining. Twenty years, you are still raining. I prophesy, receive grace this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and begin to wave your hand to the Almighty God. Let us go into prayer, as people of God. Begin to worship Him. Open your mouth and thank him for the fifth month of the year. Worship him. Adore him. Worship him. Adore him. Worship him. Adore him. Oh, how beautiful to see a new month. How beautiful to see a new month. Worship him. Worship him. Adore him. This God is too good. This God is merciful. This God is faithful. I like you to lift up your voice and take a song without waiting for anybody. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Without waiting for anybody, open your mouth and sing a new song. It's a new month. Sing a new song unto Him. Na brochine ka abuoma. Na brochine ka abuoma. Na bora isinala. Mama, Mama, in Jesus' name we worship. People of God, can we go on our knees before God? Make sure again on Allah. Let us humble ourselves before God. Oh, the Bible says that if God is to count iniquity, who we stand? Oh, the Bible says that our righteousness, they are just like filthy rags before him. Say, Lord, have mercy this morning. Lord, any sin that will hinder my prayer. Oh, one of the most dangerous things on earth is sin. Oh, it can make a nonsense of a great man. Oh, it can make your prayer to become an abomination. Oh, it can make your prayer instead of it to become a holy incense. Oh, on a sins your jaw, it will be stinking. Lord, have mercy on me this morning. Lord, have mercy on me this morning. Lord, wash me this morning. Open your mouth and talk to God. I want to pray prayers this morning. And I want to prevail this morning. Daddy, this month must not go like other months. I want you to answer me this morning. I want you to answer me this morning. Atom came upon a go one and watching a go kune bere. Siana, Joe Barahundi O'Connor, or Bara Jesus. Such a wam, such a wam, such a wam, such a wam. Purge me, cleanse me, make me whole, make me worthy, make me whole, make me worthy. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, let the blood of Jesus purge us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We are handing over. Shall we rise? Handing over. The Please rise. Handing over unto you. Oh, we are handing over Oh, this month handing over This month handing over Unto you Oh, 
I am handing over Oh, this month handing over This month handing over Unto you, my God can you open your mouth and say after me, say, Oh Lord, my God, I hand over the month of May unto you. Take absolute control. Take total control. Open your mouth and hand it over, people of God. Hand it over. You cannot handle it. You cannot handle it. You cannot control it. You cannot predict it. You cannot comprehend it. You cannot say what will happen in the next five minutes. I hand over this month to you. My father, every day I hand over. Every week I hand over. Every hour I hand over. Every second I hand over. Every hour I hand over. Lord Jesus, take control. Jesus, take control. Take control of my family. Take control of my ministry. Take control of everything I have. Take control of your church. Take control. Take control. Take control of my business. Take control of my investment. Take control. Take control of my projects. Take control of my children. Take control of my parents. Take control. Take control. When you take control, the enemy can never take control. When you are in charge, the enemy can never take charge. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Open your mouth and say, You month of May, I prophesy unto you, you will be my month of unequal grace. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy to you, you month of May, you will be my month of unequal grace. You will be my month of unequal grace. You will be my month of unequal grace. You month of May, hear the word of God. You will be my month of unequal grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus, you will be my month of grace. Grace, grace, grace we flow. Grace we flow. Grace we flow. In Jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray lift your right hand and say after me say in this month of unequal grace my flag of glory and honor shall fly and prosper in the name of jesus Say, my flag of glory and honor shall fly and prosper in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and prophesy in this month of unequal grace, my flag of glory and honor. You will fly and you will prosper. 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 You will fly. My flag we fly. My flag we fly. My flag we fly. In Jesus mighty name we pray say my life I didn't hear you say my destiny say my future begin to operate under uncommon grace say it again say my life my destiny my future Add my family, add my church. Oh, begin to operate under uncommon grace. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I prophesy my life, my destiny, my future, my family, my church, my business, my ministry, everything about my life. Begin to operate under uncommon favor, uncommon grace, uncommon grace, uncommon grace, uncommon grace, uncommon grace, uncommon grace. grace. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, Oh Lord, my Father, you giant of shame and dishonor that has taken captive of me in this month of May. Receive fire and jump out. Receive fire and jump out. Somebody burst into prayer this morning. Oh Lord, my Father, you giant of shame, you dishonor that has taken captive of my life, captive of my family, this month of May, I command you by the power of the living God, receive fire and jump out. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, my Father, every garment of shame, every garment of ridicule, I am tired of you. Cut fire in the name of Jesus. Cut fire in the name of Jesus. Oh, you garment of shame. Oh, you garment of ridicule. In my life, in my family, in my generation, in my business. Cut fire. 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 Every garment of shame that I'm wearing. Father, let it cut fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to put your hair, hand on your head. Say, my father, my maker. My father, my maker. This month of May, every of my hanging blessings, I release you this morning. 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 Oh, Lord, my father, every blessings, every prophecy, every goodness that is hanging in my life, Father, let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. Let them be released. This month will be my month of unequal grace. My blessings will look at me. My breakthrough will look at me. Grace will look at me. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. I lose the peace of God upon my family. I lose the peace of God upon my life. I lose the peace of God upon my children. Open your mouth and begin to pray. As for the peace of the Lord, the peace that surpasses all human understanding, that peace that will give you rest in your office, that peace that will give you rest in your family, that peace that will give you rest in your generation, that peace that will quiet every voice rising against you. Ask God to give you that peace. Let that peace locate you. 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 In Jesus. No, we pray. Say, my father and my God. Oh, I can hear your voice. Say, my father and my God. This month of May, I lose unusual favor and patronage upon my business. I release unusual grace and patronage upon my business. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever you're doing in your office, in your business, I release unusual favor and patronage. People will begin to look at you. People will begin to look at you. Wherever you have been forgotten, in your office, in your business, in your marriage, in your academy, people will begin to look at you. People that matters will look at you. Men will come for you. People that have forgotten you will begin to look for you. God will give you that patronage. God will give you that favor. This month of May, people will look for you. 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 In Jesus' name, say, Oh Lord of my God, I lose divine speed and favor 
upon my abandoned protest in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Any project that I have started, that they have said I will not complete it. Any project that my children have started, that they said they will not complete it. Anything that somebody in my family has started, that they think will not complete it. Father, speed for completion. Father, speed for completion. Father, let your grace for completion come. Father, your grace. 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 Whatever we have not been able to accomplish since last year, this year will accomplish them. This year will do more. This year will be better. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord and my Father. Oh Lord and my Father. Make my latter glory to shock those waiting for my tears. Make my latter glory to shock those waiting for my tears. Begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. Those people waiting for your downfall. Those people waiting for you to cry. Father, put them to shame. Father, put them to shame. Father, give me a testimony that will change your mind. Testimony that will shock men. Testimony that will shock women. Testimony that will shock people around me. Testimony that will make them recognize me. Testimony that will elevate me. Testimony that will remove tears from my family. Testimony that will change my situation. Testimony that will place me above others. Testimony, 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 testimony. This month of May, may I receive my own blessing. May I receive my own glory. May I receive my own testimony. That will take away tears in my eye. That will take away tears in my eye. Father, give it unto me. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, I'm God. My Father, I'm my God. Every agent of impossibility fashioned against me receive permanent failure in my life. Every spirit of impossibility receive failure in my life. You will not work in my life. You will not work in my life. You will not function. Every agent that has been assigned to frustrate me, to cause impossibility in my life, fall down by fire. You will not work in my life. You will not work in my family. You will not work in my generation. You will not work in my house. You will not work for my children. I pray, open your mouth and pray. 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 Every agent of impossibility, I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. I scatter you by fire. Oh, you are forgetting, oh, no, so Kelly, we may get a new, oh, no, so Kelly, we may get a joy, a forgetting, oh, no, so Megera nyo ono zaka mara mege ndera poge boche ono zaka ngozi mege megera mo ono zaka ngozi mege ajo nya poge boche ono zaka mbule lu Mege, mege ranyo, ono zonke liwe, mege. Ala mwa poge boche, ono zon kamara, mege. Mege ranyo, ono zon kamara, mege. Amen, amen. We are in prayer number 16. I refuse to be diverted from the path of my blessing in the name of Jesus. This month of grace, I refuse to be diverted from the path of my blessing. No power will divert it. No man will divert it. No boss will divert it. No CEO will divert it. No matter the place of such individual will divert it. Nobody. 
Nothing will divert me. I will be focused. I will get where I'm going to. I will get there with God my purpose for me. I'll be focused. I'll be determined. I will not be diverted. I'm looking unto grace. Grace will locate me. Grace will find me. This month, this month, I will not be diverted. In Jesus' name we pray. Every hole in my hand making me to lose money in my businesses ah, be this day destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are there holes punctured by the enemy in your hands? The business are fast losing. Contracts you are fast losing. Money is fast losing. Today, by the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better thing than the blood of Abel, he will speak for you. That blood that speaks grace, he will speak for you. Grace shall speak for you. Grace shall speak for you. No matter the reason for that hole, by the reason of grace, by the reason of blood, he shall cease. You will get there. In Jesus' name we pray. Fire of God. Consume every satanic deposit in my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shout. Every satanic deposit is it by arrow. Is it by projection. Is it by manipulation. In any way, deposited inside your body. Resisting grace. Saying no to grace today by the power that is in the name of Jesus. That power will be broken. The forces will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace will prevail. 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 Lord shall consume those deposits. He shall consume those that are deposited, known or unknown, in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. By the power of God, evil gathering shall no longer hold in my environment in the mighty name of Jesus. Any evil gathering in your environment, in your household, in your compound, ah, they shall not gather again. Most of us, in where you are living, evil beds, are flying evil birds are singing but today by the reason of grace they shall cease to sing the assignment is ended they shall not prevail any longer ah all those that got the bible say let them gather because the garden of the lord they shall scatter they shall scatter those gathering shall be scattered in Jesus' name we pray. Every evil Satan, every evil Satan has programmed in my life ah, to alter the divine pattern of heaven for my life. Expire this day in the name of Jesus. No matter all the plans of the enemy to alter the divine plan of heaven, Concerning your life, ah, today, today they are inspired by the reason of grace because you have stepped in into the month of grace. They shall they already aspired. Grace will speak for you, grace will catapult you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Every battle ordained by Satan. To swallow up my glory and honor. Expire by fire. In the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Begin to declare it. Begin to decree it. That every battle. That may have planned. To swallow your glory. Because this month. Your glory will speak. Your glory will shine forth. In Jesus' name we pray. In this month of unequal grace, 
My God shall shoot me up beyond my expectation. Open your mouth, I begin to pray. Grace lifted me. Grace lifted me. Grace lifted me. Grace lifted me. When there is going down, grace say no. There is a lifting up for you. When there is abandonment, grace say no. You are being recognized. Grace will lift you. Grace will exalt you. You will soar. You will soar by the ego ways as a result of grace. In Jesus' name we pray. In this month of unequal grace, my wilderness shall turn into a spring of waters. I begin to declare it. Say it with your mouth. My wilderness shall turn the spring of water. Bible said that even the desert, water can come out of it. In the wilderness, there can be fruitfulness. Shall you not know it? The Lord is doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing. There's nothing he cannot do. It's a month of grace. Open your mouth and declare it. Spring of living water shall flow. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are on prayer number 24. Whatever we convince men that you are serving a living God, the Lord will do it for you this month. That amen is not loud enough to cause a miracle. I say whatever we cause men to know you are serving a living God, he will do it for somebody here this month. You are going to shout like this as you hold that manwa. Whatever we convince me that I serve a living God, my Father, do it for me this month. Oh, you yeah, open your mouth and begin to say it. Whatever, 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 whatever. Hey, whatever. Whatever it is that we convince men, I serve a living God. In Jesus' name we are praying. You see, why the first day of the month is so unique is that every word you speak at the early hours we always hang, and that's what we run through the month. So that is why you must take these professions and these confessions very serious. The next one says, You raging spirit of recession. Is that the loudest you can shout it? You cannot convert me to a beggar. I said you cannot convert me to a beggar. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You can't convert my family to beggars. Yes, others may lack. That is not my passion. There is recession. It doesn't matter. Not in God's economy. Nigeria may be in recession. But God's economy is not in recession. You can't convert me to a beggar. Hey! In Jesus' name we are praying. Lift up your right hand to the heavens. And you are going to shout the next prayer point. With every power you have within you. Angels of the living God. Display my picture. For signs. For wonders. And for miracles. Oh, yeah, open your mouth and tell the angels. Oh, yeah, from today, display. Angels, oh, yeah, display it. My picture is there. Let men from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, let them see my picture for signs, for wonders. Jesus. 
Jesus. Name we are praying. Holy Spirit. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Can we shout it now? Holy Spirit. We want to ask God to give every member of St. Paul's an open heavens. What we need is open heavens. Nigeria may be in recession, but God's economy can never experience recession. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So if God gives you open heavens, when others are crying, you are laughing. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit! Give every member of St. Paul open heavens. Oh, you are beginning to declare it. You are a member of this church. By the open heavens, in my career, in my business, in my business, in my family, Baba, Baba, open heavens, open heavens, open heavens, open heavens. Aha! In Jesus' name we are praying. You see, I'm moving very fast because of our time. The next prayer point, we want to ask the Lord that powers that cannot be insulted, there are powers that men can insult. Every man here, you are a minister. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are all ministers of the new covenant. You hear what I'm saying? But we're going to pray for the vicar, the curates, the ladybirds, the evangelists, and every worker in the church. The powers that cannot be suffered, let it rest upon them. Are you following me this morning in church? You are going to lift up your hand and say it again. Powers that cannot be sorted. Fall upon our vicar. Upon the curates. Upon the leaders. Upon every worker. Open your mouth and pray. Powers that can be sorted. Let those powers, let them fall uh, upon every worker in the church. Uh, upon every worker in the church. Uh, hey, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Prayer number 29. I want us to pray that prayer as if that prayer alone will pull Nigeria out of recession. Are you hearing me, church? They have tried, they have tried, but it looks as if the calculation is beyond them. What Nigeria needs is divine intervention. And unless the church prays, we can't experience intervention. We are going to lift up your voice. Every power! Every power! Dragging Nigeria! Into recession! Aha! In Jesus' name we are praying. God of Hezekiah! Can I hear you shout it louder? Convert our midnight to miracles! Can I hear you say it now? God of Hezekiah! Convert our midnight to miracles. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let this same God, let him convert our midnight to miracles. To miracles. To miracles. Somebody here is going with a miracle. Somebody here, your midnight is transformed. Open your mouth and begin to thank him. Lift up your hands and thank him. Thank you for answer to prayers. Thank you for answer to prayers. I appreciate him because he's God by here. He's God by here, sir. He's God by here, sir. Lift up your voice and say, God, I'm grateful. Thank you for grace. Thank you for strength. Thank you, oh God. The month of May, grace will speak. 
the mount of me, grace is speaking, the mount of me, several things are happening, open your mouth and thank him, I appreciate this king, I appreciate this king, I appreciate the king, Liba koto bishi kati lia sata. Ili broto kope si kataya. Lift up your voice and say after me. Say my father, my fighter. Because God is also a man of war. I just discovered that. My father, my fighter. Say my father, my fighter. This month of May. I change you to the month of most. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By prophetic audacity and authority, we declare unto you that access is given to you to a higher realm of wealth this month in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By prophetic anointing, we prophesy to you that this month of May, access is given to you to a higher realm of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear this. God spoke to us specifically that this month of May, he will deal with three things in our lives. Impossibility, shame, and dishonor impossibility, shame and dishonor. Every garment of shame and dishonor you are wearing, let it catch fire. 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 fire. Now hear this. If you have anybody that have terminal disease, God spoke to us that the first rainfall, the first rain that will drop this month, Bring that person out. Let the rain touch that person. There will be a divine healing. I said there will be divine healing. Maybe you are sick. Please don't miss the first rain. The rain. Minos zumbu. Gezo ni mongwa. Make sure that it's maraginaro. I prophesy. There will be a turn around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. How many fingers do you have? Look at it. How many fingers? Does anybody have six? If you have six, wait for deliverance. Hallelujah. It means that this month of May, whatever you want, you desire, whatever good thing you want to touch, your hand will touch it in the name of Jesus. I say your hand will touch it in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. How many days do we have this month, people of God? How many days? 31 days. We are going to give God a 31 heaven opening. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to give God a 31 cost enlarging. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Welcome to the month of unequal grace. You are blessed. Can we make a great noise to this God right now? If your voice is louder, your blessing is higher. If your voice is louder, your blessing is higher.
If your voice is louder, your blessing is higher. I don't know who has received blessing like me this morning. This paper, I'm not going to tear my own. It will be in my Bible. Every day, fantastic prayer points. You look at this, it looks like it's better than this. You pray this one, it looks like, ah, uh-uh, it go to the point where we prayed number 24. Look at that prayer number 24 again. He said, whatever will convince men that I am serving a living God. Number one thing that will convince men is that you'll be alive. Number two is that grace will give you promotion. Nothing around you will be dead. Your business will rise again. Your face will be shining. Your children will be doing well. People will come to you and say, Hey, you are serving a living God. And he said, Impossibility, shame, and disgrace will never be a portion this month. Somebody palm something in your hand. Palm something. I tell you about offering. Offering. Anytime you talk to the heavens and you let blood flow, no matter what declaration, generational declaration that was done upon Solomon, because blood flew. 1,000 cows. The heavens rose up for him. That your blood that is coming out this morning. When we explain it, we take sweat for blood. Your money is your sweat. It's part of your blood. That thing that you are using as your first sacrifice in this month of May will make every prayer you have said there today become reality. Pump them and raise them. Let us just pray. Quickly, quickly. Your first offering for the month of May. Raise it above your head. Say after me. Father, I thank you. Because of this opportunity. To actualize everything you have declared for me. In the month of May. So begin to pray. Just pray it. Just pray it anyhow. Father, thank Papa. Thank Papa. Because of the opportunity for you to bring in this sacrifice. It is the actualization. It is the reality. It is the thing that will make it proper. Straight and proper for you. This morning. This morning. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Father, we thank you so much. Ever faithful Papa, we have come before you this morning to start our month called May. We have said that from semantics, we are turning May into must. Every situation the devil has been doing us up and down like that will become a most answer situation. Father, we have declared a lot of things, but especially that as we live here today, people will point at us and say, yes, this one is serving a living God. This month of May, grace will overflow us. Grace will carry us where we cannot go. Grace will make us have much testimony. Grace that is unequaled. We receive it. And ask, Papa, that you receive our offerings. Bless us immensely. All to your glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. A better amen. Amen. The grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Please, immediately you drop your offering, collect your Holy Communion. We are starting from peace immediately. So, Holy Communion, we are taking the first, the first thing that will enter my mouth this morning eh? is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The first thing for the month of May. Oh, yeah, music. Hallelujah, he's a miracle walking God. He's a miracle walking God. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the miracle walking God. Shall we all rise? Kai Kruno Kwa Yonyobla. Obuni Jaoko Holy Communion, turn to page 20. Page 20 of Holy Communion booklet. Page 20. We are going to share the peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us go round and offer one another a sign of peace.